mighty sons of Hercules once thundered through the years. These men of steel could never feel the curse of a coward's fears. The mighty sons of Hercules were men as men should be. They burned with dreams and turned their dreams into history. Uh -huh. centuries in olden times, there lived the sons of Hercules, heroes supreme. They roamed the earth, righting wrongs, helping the weak and oppressed, and seeking adventure. They were the mightiest of mortal men. One of them was Perseus. It is of his deeds we tell now of his struggle against the Medusa. My prince, this road is leading us into the dragon's country. We ought to avoid it and find a way that will take us further inland. The men are beginning to worry. I don't think there is another way to reach the seacoast. And the fate of our entire people depends upon the success of this expedition. So we must take the risk. Thank <laughs> you. 
chance. We have to run for it. And a gallop! Men. That means we are lost, Prince Alcir. The victims is the Medusa. There's no use riding any farther. That would be foolish. If the Medusa should take us by surprise, our flight is hopeless. We must wait for her here and attack her with all our force. But don't let her look you in the eye, whatever you do. For that's how she turns men to stone.
We'll go back to Argo. Turn back to Argo! It's impossible for us to find a safe trade route to the open sea. Now my son Altheus has fallen a victim to the Medusa. This sacrifice of my beloved son was all for nothing. I should never have consented to Altheus attempting such an expedition. The responsibility for this tragic result is mine. That will be punishment enough for me for the rest of my life. Father, don't torture yourself like this. Altheus was convinced he was acting in the best interest of our people. Wait and see. The Medusa will be killed one day. And Alcaeus will be restored to life with the monster's other victims. You mustn't give up hope, Father. Perhaps none of us will be alive by then to see if this legend of ours is only another foolish fancy or not. Your Majesty, I sympathize with your sorrow, but we must open a safe trade route for our products. Otherwise, Seraphos will soon be under the domination of Argos. I've and been in that king case... of Seraphos and Agrisius, king of Argos, for more than 20 years now. And there's never been a war declared between us. But never friendly relation. The King of Argus knows that the Medusa and the man-eating dragon block our access to a seaport. And profiting at our expense, King Acretius exacts a heavy toll on all our caravans which have to take the route through his territory. Argus will surely reduce our people to starvation if all the merchandise we import or export has to be taxed on the road to the seacoast. We'd do better to resist this exploitation than to go on living in shame as we are. We'd better avoid a war, I say. We'll take up arms only as a last resort. Your wisdom is the proof of your courage. We're overlooking the obvious solution, which is also the easiest. King Acrisius of Argus, on behalf of his son, Prince Galanor, requests your daughter's hand in marriage. Then our two people will have every reason to feel united, and the ways of common trade will be open to both of them. No. For us, this would mean surrendering our complete independence to Argus. After all, I've already given one of my children for our independence. You must not ask me to make another sacrifice. Certainly not my daughter Andromeda. I trust I'm allowed to speak for myself, Father. At least let us take a look at Galenor. Before I decide. Take Galenor an invitation to Seriphos. <laughs> And she has invited Galenor to Seraphon. As you see, I have arranged everything according to your instructions. Well done, Terpates. I must admit you have proved yourself a friend of ours. Although such friends as you are not too priceless. Return to Seraphos and tell your king he must make ready to receive my son with full honors. Galenor will arrive in due time. Is Andromeda beautiful? They say that she is. But it's not only her beauty that I want you to possess. I know the day will come when I'll reign over Argus and Seraphos together. Isn't that what you want? And that will only be the beginning. Oh, by the way, don't forget our court etiquette. The first to hear the good news must be the Queen Mother. <laughs> 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 Jupiter, you who can see into the hearts of mortals, hear my supplication and pity my sorrow. Oh, give me one sign of your love and protection now. Inflict upon the guilty your reward for their iniquity. Let your vengeance overtake and crush my husband's murder. Let my son be restored. Oh, why must I wait so long? He was taken from me 20 years ago. In all those long years, not one word have I had to lift the terrible weight of my wife. That's enough, Danae. You know very well your son is dead. Listen to me. Why don't you face the truth? You are my wife. And the queen of Argus at my right hand. The affection that you couldn't lavish on your own son, you might give to my son, Galenor. Pacify this rage. You murderer. I know my mistake too well, and I'll never forgive myself for it, for having given myself blindly to my first husband's murderer. But that was before I knew. 
I didn't know it was he, and I was forced to find a king for my people. Stop wasting your breath and useless prayer to a god that's only a block of marble. Father, why can't you put this madwoman out of her misery? The people are devoted to their queen, Danai, and they have no love for us. My son will return. The dead can't return to life. My son is alive, and I know it. Ah. The day he comes back, you will die. I won't allow you to rave at me. Silence! <gasps> You know what the prophecy says. A son will destroy father and son. The son of the king you murdered long ago will murder you and your offspring. And you, when you're dying, remember what I have told you. I only wish your son were alive, so I could kill him here in front of you. My son will watch you die, Galinor. I know he will avenge the murder of his father. But I, but I tell you, before you die, you will know he is my son, because he has three marks on his shoulders as the sign of Jupiter. Remember this, Galinor. Before you die, you will know he is my son! Perseus! Ah! <laughs> a lot of good it did me to teach you to use a bow. You almost hit me that time. Oh, I can shoot better than you by far. I have a much surer aim. There's nothing more you can teach me now. We'll soon find out about that. Ready? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Now it's my turn. Ready? Mm-hmm. I give up. I know I'd never be able to match that. I must go. Why are you leaving me when you've hardly arrived? Stay a while. No, I must go. Anyway, I don't enjoy trapping fish with my bare hands, but you seem to like it. The trout is free to escape if he can. It's a point of honor. I feel the same about a pretty girl. What girl? You. <laughs> Why, you've learned how to flirt. Tell me how you mastered that game. But I'm only telling you what I feel. I've tried to tell you before this. I couldn't find the words. Besides, you never give me time. You appear and you vanish. I don't even know your name. I'll tell you my name another day. Because your pretty fish is escaping now. <laughs> Goodbye. Someday you won't escape me. When that day comes, I'll do the catching. When are you coming back? and vanishes before my eyes like a vision, or like a goddess. Maybe she is the goddess of these mountains, but if she comes back, I won't let her run away from me again. Goddess or whatever she may be, I'll keep her here with me forever, because I love her. <laughs> but you're too young to know about these things, aren't you? On behalf of my people, I bid you welcome to Seraphos. Mm. Your people don't seem to share your enthusiasm. Honor my house, Galadon. Beauty surpasses all reports. But now I see for myself, I understand why. It defies description. Your eloquence should speak a worthier subject.
Such gifts are poor indeed compared to the treasure you have in your heart. Accept them as a symbolic toll I pay to be allowed to tread the pathway to your heart's door. The way to my heart is not paid for with riches, Prince Ganinor. Ah, I'm sure you would welcome some rest now. Tomorrow there will be a hunting party in your honor. There you will meet the other princes who have come here from the states allied with us to pay you their respects. My daughter's handmaidens will show you to your apartment. How much longer will you keep me in suspense? Now, you mustn't press me for my answer. We hardly know each other. I knew at our first meeting no other woman could ever mean the same. You speak too quickly to say what you really feel. That's not true. If you were to ask that pebble why it fell, it would tell you that it was dropped by my hand. But that pebble doesn't know that it has to obey a law beyond the control of either of us. What's that got to do with us? It shows us we're not the masters of our fate. I was destined for you. A pebble has no will of its own, as we do. Hmm. Don't fool yourself. We mustn't keep the hunters waiting, Galinor. We'll have a chance to resume this conversation later on. daughter is playing with fire. You should force her to make up her mind once and for all. I refuse to force any decision on Andromeda. I want her to weigh it carefully. It's entirely up to her to select. What about Galinor? He might easily take offense, and if he does, all your high hopes will be dashed to earth. Andromeda will do as she wishes. mine, and this man has no right to kill it. All the wild animals in the kingdom belong to your king and to his daughter, the princess. On your knees, you insolent clod. Princess? On your knees, I told you. Must I also bow down to you, or must I spit in your face? No. You must let him defend himself. Princess, are you ordering me to fight this mongrel? Hand him a whip. That's it. <laughs> I will lower myself to his level and fight on equal terms if it entertains you. Whips are suitable weapons. He wouldn't know what a sword is for.
He insulted you and all of us. He must die. The laws of Seriphos do not permit a helpless man to be killed without a chance to fight for his life. This man will pay. He's insulted my guests and they demand satisfaction. Very well. Tomorrow we shall hold a tournament. He'll fight with the weapons prescribed. And each one of you will fight for the honor of the land you come from. You will have the privilege of fighting for the honor of Seriphos. Are you willing? Yes, Princess. You've been waiting to hear my reply. Here it is. The one who wins the tournament will be my husband. <laughs> Consider yourself my wife, then. I'll be the winner. You will pay dearly for the privilege you've been granted. <laughs> I now declare open the trial at arms.
you will each select the weapon you prefer. And may the gods protect and grant victory to the one who is most worthy. I must know by what name to proclaim you the victor of this tournament. Did you hear my question, young man? My name is Perseus. That's of no importance. I don't want anything. I claim nothing here. Neither your kingdom nor your daughter. Who is your father? I never knew my father, nor my mother. I'll make you captain of the palace guards. Come back here. That's an order. If you don't marry Galanor, it means war. I don't want to be the cause. Our paths will never cross in the future. I have no right to love you, Andromeda. Doesn't my love for you give you the right? Don't make it harder for me to leave you. Maybe someday I'll manage to forget you. Help me to find the strength. I'd never permit you to. You wouldn't sacrifice our life together, would you? It's not only the two of us I'm thinking of. Now I've learned to loathe Galanor. I know by marrying him I would deliver my people into slavery. But I won't do it. You're my one hope of salvation. I wish to be alone.
tell her, Lord, the men are ready to move now. We shall leave immediately. Stop them long enough for us to get away from them. No! No! Help! No! No!
I'm afraid a war is inevitable now. Perhaps it will be the ruin of my people. Wars are decided on battlefields. And besides, you have me. We're too few, even if you are with us. In a war with Argus, we'd be unprotected. All the best warriors we had have been eaten by the dragon, or else they've been turned into stone by the Medusa. And one of them was my brother, Alcina. I know. Those monsters make Argus undefeatable. They say that if the Medusa dies, the stones will come back to life again. Is that true? I only know that it's an ancient legend. There's no way of knowing whether it's true or not. The Medusa may live forever. You see, I used to think I could convince Galanor to turn aside from his plans for conquering us. That I could prevent a war. What a fool I was to believe I could influence that man. But my illusions are gone. I know how wrong I was, and now it's plain that I only made things worse. And I've doomed my country to destruction. We still have one chance, Andromeda. I'll take Galanor back to Argus, and I'll speak to the king. Perhaps I can convince him. But that's too great a risk for you to take. I'll have to try. Get on your horse. To your horses. Escort the princess back to Serapis. Prince Galanor is going with me to Argus. I know there's nothing I can say to make you change your mind, but don't forget I'm waiting for you. I'll come back. Don't worry. Riding to Argus. Pay good money to see that sight more often. Loss of Argus is a lift to the morale. And after I won the tournament, I spared your son's life. And I spared it again. When I prevented him from kidnapping the daughter of my king. I was only taking by force what had been stolen from me through treachery. But you were unsuccessful. Have them kill him. As long as he's alive, he's a threat to our safety. I'm amazed at your cowardice. There's no blood of mine running in your veins. There's no threat of man or God able to frighten me. What is it you wish of me? That you continue to live in peace with the people of Seraphim. Even if your son doesn't marry Andromeda. And nothing else? Yes, that you allow Seraphus to use the trade route through your territory to reach the sea and charge less toll on the merchandise. Well, that's putting it plainly. But why should I agree to any of your conditions? Because it's to your advantage. If there is a war, I myself will lead the army of Seraphus, and you will not defeat us until all of us are dead. Even if you should be victorious, the price you pay will be very high. In the end, you will conquer a deserted city with no population. What is the advantage? I ought to have you whipped to death for your insolent behavior. A war will do none of us any good. Now, I propose a duel between two men to decide the question. A duel between your son and me. Father, we have every advantage. Why let this fool dictate to us? Silence. Let me study your suggestion. I owe you my son's life, and for that I thank you. Accept my hospitality, and you will receive every consideration. Now, leave us. You have turned into a coward. The idea of dueling with that man terrifies you. 
I am more than willing to fight any man. But who can oppose the will of the gods? You are not serious. What has happened to you? Will you help me with this bandage? Strange, but I seem to remember this room. Maybe it was a dream. <laughs> What is it? What makes you stare at me like that? Please forgive an old woman's idle curiosity. Those three marks that you have there on your shoulder, how did you get them? Oh, those? I don't know. I've always had them. They bring me good luck. Listen carefully. I know someone who can make your wound heal just by touching it. But it's almost healed now. Oh, please come with me. It means a great deal. That madwoman's ravings had made you lose your head. If you had only been there in my place, defeated for the first time, lying there on the ground with a mob cursing you, and had seen the three marks on someone about to kill you, and heard her voice, that same voice which haunts me night and day. Stop this! He's her son, I tell you. Her son. How am I to defeat him when I am afraid of him? It is you. My mother's heart is sure of it. I know at last that I have not been waiting for you in vain. Mother, I had no idea that a simple word could ever sound so beautiful. Mother, before I saw you, this word meant nothing. You are here. You are here with me. He's not a ghost, Aglai. He's real. I have found my son once more. The prophecy will be fulfilled now. You must not be seen here. You would be in great danger. If they find out, they will surely try to kill you. I'm not afraid of them, Mother. Neither am I, but you must arouse the populace. In an emergency, Acrisius can only count on his guard of mercenaries, and they sell their loyalty for gold. But the populace is loyal to us and will follow you. Once they find out that you are the legitimate king of Argos. No! Not while I am alive! <coughs> Guard! That man has betrayed our hospitality. He has killed our queen. What are you waiting for? Kill that man! I forbid you! Don't dissipate this temple with another crime! This man did not kill our queen. The murderer was. <coughs> Arrest that dog! Seize him! I want him alive! He has him! You won't escape me long. I'll find you and make you suffer for this. I'm not afraid of you. Fight me now if you dare. I'll plant the sword blade in your heart. I'll return, Galanor. I'll avenge my mother and recover my throne. And when I hold you by the neck, Galanor, I'll show you no mercy. I'll break it with my bare hands. Don't fool yourself, you murderer. <laughs> Why shouldn't I lead my soldiers to the attack right now? No, Your Majesty. Their army is too powerful. Galanor and Acrisius must be attacked where they are the weakest. But how will you manage it all alone? At least allow some of our men to accompany you. I can't ask the people of Seraphos to fight for me. This struggle concerns only my people, the people of Argos. Whatever happens, remember you can always count on our full support first. And my soldiers will be ready to go into action. I'm grateful to you, Chepion. Now I must go. Anyone would think we never say anything but goodbye to each other. Someday we'll forget that word. Please take me with you, Perseus. <gasps> Don't make our parting sadder for me. When I come back this time, I'll keep you with me for the rest of my life. <gasps> Perseus got safely away to Seraphos. Now we must kill him and destroy his stronghold. Our army will be ready to march before daybreak. We march tomorrow morning. Prepare to leave at dawn. This time we'll put an end to Perseus forever. It's good to hear you talk like a man once again. Now I am proud of you. I, Perseus, son of Danai, legitimate king of Argus, 
Declare Ecclesius a usurper. He's a murderer, and I summon my people against him. Men of Argus, seize your weapons and follow me into the forest. The tyrant is about to fall. Our war against the Cretius and Galinor will soon be won. Guardsmen, arrest that traitor. <laughs> Remains to be seen if Galanor can make them fall into his trap. My son will be successful.
that should convince you that you've seen the last of Perseus. We can go back to Argus. We'll collect the army, and as soon as possible, we'll invade Seraphos at last. All my men were scattered or cut to pieces, but at least the dragon is dead. Now Argus is open to invasion on that side. If your army can launch a surprise attack, the war will be over. Acrisius thinks I'm dead. He's preparing to attack you. We'd better attack him first. Very well. And may the gods protect you, my boy. Assemble the men. We're leaving at once. I always knew that one day you would save my country. <laughs> camp here. We're too late. Fall back and man the city defense. But perhaps it's no use. I'm afraid we won't be able to withstand a long siege in our condition. We've only one hope left. I'll find the men who scattered into the forest and we'll attack Acrisius. Stay here with us. We need you right here. You must trust me. If day breaks before they surrender on our conditions, I leave the attack to you. Tomorrow Andromeda will be mine. And all the people of Seraphos will beg you for mercy. share our confidence. They sense that a battle is about to begin.
Help me. What happened? A trap was set for us. The few who managed to fight their way out and avoided being captured have all been turned to stone in, in the valley of the Medusa. There's no hope any longer. Yes, there is. I'll go to the Valley of the Medusa and bring them back. There's no use trying. Others have thought they could. Before you. The valley is filled with our men. Alcius and his companions. I will have to try. <laughs>
Medusa is dead. You must come back to life. The Medusa is dead. The Medusa is dead. You must come back to life. You must come back to life! The Medusa is dead! I killed her myself! I killed the Medusa! I killed her so that you could all come back to life and carry out our vengeance! attack now.
amorfo. Thank you. 